Rockstar Games finally speaks out about the GTA Definitive Edition rumors. My name is Jackknife Finnegan. If you're new, I have a lot of GTA content on my channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, ding those bells. But let's get into what we've seen on today's Rockstar Newswire. All right, here we go. This came out today, October 8, 2021. If you're watching, well, this is the actual timestamp, so... If you're watching on a different date, there it is if you want a reference. But anyway, here we go. This is the trailer they released. Nothing fancy, nothing to get excited about. All it is is silhouettes of shit we've already seen. Awesome, exciting. All right, let's get into this. Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, the definitive edition, and more coming soon. Plus details on upcoming special events and updates in GTA Online. So good news is we are getting updates in GTA Online. That is awesome. Nothing exciting. There just could be like little things here and there. Just enough to string us along until they actually drop an actual update or until GTA 6 comes out. So we are going to be getting some updates in GTA Online. Awesome. Red Dead, I do not see you in here. You're a left out. I'm sorry. But anyway, there is the date. Now, let's get into a little bit of this. I'm not going to read everything verbatim because I will assume that you can read. If you want to read, read along with me or go to Rockstar Newswire and read yourself. I am going to break down little bits and pieces of this, though. All right. So, we got 20 years, 20 years of milking of the Grand Theft Auto franchise. Awesome. So, we got an anniversary coming up for Grand Theft Auto 3. The game that set players loose in the sprawling three-dimensional metropolis of Liberty City. And it gave you freedom and immersion until you jumped in the water, then you died. That was really dumb, Rockstar. Why did you make a game so open world and then you'd go in the water and you would die? I never understood that. But anyway, they are saying that Grand Theft Auto 3 set the tone, which it did, and these are equally legendary games vice city and san andreas call me crazy but san andreas was a hell of a lot better than vice city and uh gta 3 so they should actually put those in the title but the fact that gta 3 is the 20 year anniversary i get it all right here is the heartfelt um the heartfelt thank you from rockstar i mean we should honestly break it down and read it the way Rockstar meant to put it. We like to extend a fuck you to all the Grand Theft Auto fans who have supported the games over the past two decades like a dumbass. Your love and appreciation for these games has helped put money in our pockets and send our kids to school while we sat eating off the GTA 5 online horse and silver spoon for many years to come. That's what they should pretty much say. But you can read it if you want, and if you feel special, that's awesome. Then Rockstar achieved their mission by writing this bullshit, but whatever. Read it. Do what you want. All right. Now, when I seen this image, it said, I was very excited about this. I was excited about this until I read the trilogy. The trilogy has been done over and over for how many? Two decades. For two decades, this bullshit's been happening. So exciting. All right, let's get into it. So they are going to be making this for the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, S, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and for PC. So that right there tells me we are not getting that big of a graphical update because it's going to go on all this shit. And then they're even going to release it on iOS and Android in 2022. That's awesome for uh, cell phone players if you're that type you know if you like that shit that's awesome all right so now it says it will feature across the board upgrades including graphical improvements and modern gameplay enhancements for all three titles now guys if you're reading this do not get excited because remember when you were excited about gta 5 extended and enhanced well, these are going to be the same graphical improvements and modern advancements or enha advancements, enhancements. Not that exciting. It's going to be the same shit. 
It's, see right here, it even says, the classic look and feel of the originals. So pretty much, it's going to be the exact same game. Couple little upgrades to the uh, graphics. Couple little tweaks to the controller. And that's about it. Awesome. And a couple new, um, maybe some new achievements. Some fresh looking achievements. Awesome. We're extremely excited to share more about these groundbreaking titles in the coming weeks. Which I will keep you informed, guys. We, as we will be following this story, obviously. Uh, to prepare for launch, we'll begin removing existing versions of the classic titles from digital retailers next week. So if you're buying them right now on the PlayStation Store or Xbox uh, at a discount or at a good deal, they're going to get rid of that because they want to sell you GTA Trilogy, the definitive edition. They don't want to be selling you the old shit. They want to sell you the new shit at a higher price. Um... Plus, as part of the 20th anniversary celebration for GTA 3, look for a cavalcade of special gear to collect in GTA Online throughout upcoming events this fall, including commemorative clothing and liveries. So we're going to get an old school LS hat, the wasted shirt, and they're giving a throwback to the Banshee, which I'm not going to lie, the Banshee's an awesome car, but... There you go. So we're going to get seeing all this type of shit in the upcoming weeks. Meh. Whatever. Um, we'll have more details on how to acquire these in the weeks ahead. I'll be covering that as well. This month's GT Online events will also have spe uh, some special surprises, including the upcoming possibility of some unusual activity occurring in and around southern san andreas now i'm not really sure what that means i mean you know are the peyote you know are they bringing back the peyote plants and that will be some unusual activity or are we gonna see some alien type shit or is the actual christine event gonna happen but if i remember it's not in southern san andreas so i don't know i'm gonna keep you informed though when i find out what's going on but i'm not gonna lie they kind of covered their ass when they said the upcoming possibility, meaning that they could do it or they could not do it. It all depends if Rockstar is being lazy that week or not. So they actually covered their ass with possibility. So I'll believe shit when I see it. Um, we're also continuing, continuing to improve and evolve GT Online. That's awesome. As you have noticed, we have took out some jobs. We have noticed you took jobs out. You put jobs in, it's like the fucking hokey pokey. That's exciting. You pick and choose what you want us to play versus us, the player, picking what we want to play. That's awesome. Great. So that's pretty much what that's saying. And then they're saying by doing that, they're improving the matchmaking because, I mean, a couple weeks ago, Rockstar Game servers weren't down. No, hell no, they weren't down. And we all know we never get booted from sessions um, even though they took out a bunch of jobs, we already know we haven't got booted from sessions. Nah, the matchmaking is fucking great, Rockstar. And your servers are fucking phenomenal. Psh, save the bullshit. All right, let's see. It will allow us to bring back jobs at various times. Yeah, yippee ki -yay. Um, We are also looking for ways to improve the GT Online experience for new and returning players in the upcoming release of GT Online for PS5 and Xbox Series X next March. Stay tuned to Rockstar Newswire for details on this and more information about the expanded and enhanced releases of GTA 5 and GT Online in the months to come. So what they're saying right there is we are looking for ways to fuck you over and take your money, and um, they're not going to really improve the experience. They're just going to find ways of screwing you over. It is what it is. And later this year, get ready to go on an exciting new adventure in GTA Online as some well-known contacts and familiar friends need your help in expanding their legit business with many more surprises soon to be revealed. Now, that kind of makes me excited. That right there makes me excited. Who's coming back? Why are they coming back? And what businesses are we going to get? So, this, I, honestly, out of the whole Newswire, this is what makes me excited. Everything else is just 
filler and bullshit. So pretty much, we're getting the same bullshit, nothing exciting, not going to lie. We're going to get some, you know, liveries, some clothing, cool. But this right here has me excited. Who's coming back? Why are they coming back? And what business? That's what I want to know. And I will keep you guys up to date. Now, guys, if you want real GTA 5, um, you know, unbiased, you, you know, real YouTuber type shit, not people that are going to be like, oh, my God, what if and what that and what this and that and, and all these fabrications of bullshit in the air. If you want someone that's real, reads it to you as it is and uh, presents it as it is, then hit that subscribe button. If you like it, hit the like button. Um, hit that fucking bell if you want. If you want to be notified of future shit. I mean, whatever. Um, you know, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know. I know. I, I know. I already know I'm going to have a bunch of comments. Why you hate? They're going to be all mad. They're going to be all upset. They're going to be in their feelings. Because, God forbid, Rockstar is Jesus. And uh, Rockstar can't do nothing wrong for the community. Because they've been great so far. Let's just be honest with each other, people. But for the real people that are reading this and the real skeptics, let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments. With that being said, hope you guys have a great day. I hope you have a good night. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'll see you in a couple hours. I'm out of here.